Grandma's Diary, September 5th, 1942. Today I canned more peaches, 43 quarts in all. I made some ketchup and had the field men for supper. Grandma lived and owned a 92-acre farm, and so on harvest days, the men would come from adjoining towns to help. Hi everyone, and welcome to Homestead Tessie. And today is Crock-Pot Wednesday. Before we get started on our Crock-Pot meal, I want to share with you this beautiful t-shirt that I received from Prepper Princess. She designed the t-shirt just for me, and I really enjoy it, and I love it, and I wear it often. This is the first time you see me wearing it on a video. So, a special little shout out to our very special Prepper Princess. What are we going to make today on our crock pot? Well, I have the fans all running. It's going to be over 100 degrees outside. And we're going to work in a crock pot once again. So, today we're going to make a really simple meal. It's going to be very unusual for someone like me because we're going to use something store bought. Now, I normally like to cook from scratch, but every once in a while, I'll use something like this. So let's get started and I'm going to share with you what we're going to make today. Bait on chicken. Do you rinse it or do you not rinse it? So many people and so many news shows say you have to rinse it. Now they're saying you shouldn't rinse your chicken because of the bacteria that can float in the air. So I want you guys to tell me in the comments, do you rinse your chicken or do you not rinse that? I'm just curious to see. For me, I'm not going to rinse it. So what I have here is, and I paid $1.77 a pound, and I got about four pounds of this chicken. So we're going to take this boneless, skinless chicken breast, and we're going to put all of this in the crock pot, because this is going to make me a couple meals. So instead of only making it a little bit, and then freezing it, and then making it more, I'm going to just make it all at once. Now, i got to go wash my hands, and I'll be right back. Alright, so we have the chicken all in the crock pot. So what we're going to do now is something that I don't normally do. But I wanted to share with you a little bit of a deal that I got. So I got these for 50 cents. And I have one for chicken. Now looking on the ingredients, there's not a whole lot of useless ingredients in it. There is a few things that people would not approve of, but it's not terribly, it's not terribly full of bad ingredients in it. So we're going to try this because a lot of mothers out there are really in a hurry and they use things like this. So I'm going to give it a try and tell you what I think of it. So this one is called sweet teriyaki. So we're going to add this to our chicken. Now this one is not for crock pot, this one says oven but I figured there is no difference. We're going to use it for the crock pot. So we're going to go ahead and just pour the teriyaki sauce over top of the chicken. So we put the teriyaki sauce in the crock pot with the chicken. Now I had a handful of green beans from out on my deck and I'm just going to use this handful of green beans because it's really not enough to make a meal but yet, it's still food that we can use to eat. Okay, we're going to give it all a stir. Put the lid on it. Good, Todd. I'm going to make sure I plug it in. There you go. I'm going to set it at 250 for the first hour. Todd, our subscriber, said that he never sees me plug it in. And he's right on that. I always make my crock pot meals, turn the camera off, and then I plug it in. So there you go. It's plugged in. All of you guys are so cute. All of the things that you notice in my videos, it's amazing. So keep up the great work. So we have this plugged in. Now it's going to take a couple hours because we have a lot of chicken in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sun oven to bake my baked potatoes. So we have the crock pot chicken and we're going to use the sun oven. I really debated because I thought maybe I would do all of it in the sun oven, but then I was afraid maybe I wouldn't have enough room. And the crock pot takes very little wattage and also does not have heat, doesn't have much heat in it when you keep the lid on it. So it keeps your house relatively cool. So we're going to get started. One thing I also learned, and you guys were all correct, 
when using the sun oven, make sure you preheat it first. So, let's get that sun oven out and let's get working on that. All right, so we have the sun oven out and it's really easy. All we do is we flip this like this. And now I'm gonna let it sit out until it gets to a hotter temperature. So you'll have to rotate it to where you see the sun. And it works really great to have it here on my deck. All right, so we have our baked potatoes and we're gonna put it in the sun oven. And that's all to it. We're gonna clamp it shut. And there we go. So now we're just gonna wait about maybe two hours and it'll be done and the chicken will be finished. So we're at 10 minutes later and it's almost 200 degrees. Went out in the garden and I started harvesting rosemary. Rosemary is my second favorite scent. So there you can see, and it's already finished. I even think it's quicker than an oven. Okay, you wanna go ahead and put them in the kettle? So our potatoes are finished. Now let's get the rest of the meal and I'll show you what it all looks like. And also the rosemary is finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all the leaves off the stems and now we have that done as well. Chicken is done too. It worked perfect this way. Both things got done at the same time. Let's dish it up. Potato. Now, I always put cheese on my stuff, I know. I add too much fat on my food, but who doesn't love sour cream and some cheese? So, back to the chicken. It looks really good. It's good, but it really lacks flavor. I think you would be really better off just having some barbecue sauce. Like, I would put something else to it. It lacks some kind of flavoring. I don't know what. So you know what? Even for 50 cents, I think I was better off just coming up with my own sauce. Mm-hmm. Baked potato, there is something about that sun oven that makes things so good. Mmm. Home raised potatoes, freshly dug from the garden. And sour cream, well, that's a winner. So, it's a eh uh eh. -uh. <laughs> I would not be buying those uh, packets again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to doctor it up a little bit, add some of my own barbecue sauce, and it'll be just perfect. Save yourself the money. Just use your own stuff. Mm -mm. You guys, tomorrow.